Nico, Sleepy Level, St. Ross's New Student, hey, Shaka Zulu, Overlearning, oh, don't mind them, you will finish them. Now nah, I'm part of the Wewe we, we, we Gang. <laughs> What's up and welcome back to another interesting high school reaction video. Hey guys, today we are going to Mkwatia. Okay, so today we are going back to the Eastern region. <laughs> we are going to take a look at the sweet angels. Oh my goodness, these girls are so angelic. They remind me of a school in, wait, I'll tell you the school they remind me of. A lot of people that thinks like me will already guess the school by now. Before I even say it, you have guessed the school. This school reminds me. So we are going to check out St. Rose's Senior High School at the Eastern Region of Ghana, Nkwatia. Nkwatia, Nkwatia, or Nkwatia. See, please, no verse, Pacho. Okay, um, I will learn. So let us go to Nkwatia and check out the sweet roses of girls, and I will be back. Let's go. I am Reverend Father Matthias Tatejabati, the chaplain of St. Rose's Senior High School, Akwitia. About some 57 years ago, somewhere around 1965, a group of German sisters, Reverend sisters from the Dominican Order, came to Ghana. They first started St. Dominic Hospital, and as part of their vision of training Ghanaians so who will be interested in healthcare of I mean the indigenous, they established St. Rosie Senior High School. And because of the hospital in mind, the school has become more of a science by our school. So that will get more young ladies who will be interested in, in the healthcare of our people. So the Dominican sisters started the school some 57 years ago. The last of the founding sisters, Sister Sulamen who just passed on last year, I guess may her soul rest in perfect peace. So that has been the history of the school. Currently, it is in the hands of the Catholic Diocese of Kufuridia and then assisted by the government to run it for the good of our country and especially the young ladies. I'm Maria Nancy Jackson, the headmistress of St. Rose's Senior High School. St. Rose's Senior High School is uh, known for its academic excellence and discipline. St. Rose's for the past three years has been the, among the best five best schools in Ghana, five top schools in Ghana. And when we come to the Eastern Region, we are the Eastern Regional Champions when it comes to WASI. The school was awarded for academic excellence, for being first for three consecutive years, and recording best place in the WASI or West African School Certificate Examination. Under normal circumstances, uh, we take a population less than 300, but currently we have about 520 of that of the second years and uh, approximately 620, 30 of that of the first years. And so in totality we have 1,150. Uh, these students are inclusive as well. And when it comes to the teaching staff, we have 81 of uh, the teaching staff and that of the non teaching, approximately 52. The various programs we offer here are 
general science and I might say general science was the main reason this school was established by the Reverend Sisters by saying that they wanted the farmers daughters should also become medical doctors. Later general arts and home economics was added. So now we have three programs, general science, home economics and general arts. The school has its history and has made this mark of academic, high academic excellence and that of the moral values of the school. Uh, because it's a mission school and a Catholic school for that master, when we talk about discipline, it's of a very high level of value and level. And it has been maintained as such. You enter into the school when you realize that the environment is so quiet, discipline is at its peak. We don't allow our students to move out of the school for just many reasons. They have boundaries where they cannot cross. Even before you enter the school, you realize a white line and that is a logo area. They don't cross if they are not given the permission. So achievements about the school is that the school is really noted for academic performance. And uh, students, when they write the WC, more than 97% qualifies to the tertiary institution. Those who may not qualify or who may not be able to go, they have something to do with maybe the programs they haven't been given at the university levels or maybe financial situation. But we are proud to say that nothing less than 95% of our students that complete school always get to the tertiary institution. That is a very big mark for us. When we come to the moral aspect, our students are really good because the training has been that thing. How to greet, how to say hello, how to pick or help the, the aged when they are moving. They are things we continuously instill in them. I'm Kezia Kwasina, a student of St. Joseph's Akwitia. I hold the position of executive without portfolio main. With our school's prefectorial board, we have the head girls, that's the school prefect, the compound overseers, sanitation prefects, male prefects, time managers, uh, the dining hall prefects, and other prefects who help in the leadership of the school. The benefits of student leadership in the dining halls and we ensure that the place is neat every day. We have a policy, pick as you go policy, that is when you pick litter around and put it in the dustbins when you see one. I think discipline is a hallmark of this institution. St. Joseph's is a Catholic mission school and the founding sisters build the school on discipline. The aim of the school is to train girls to be morally upright and disciplined, to be uh, future leaders who are responsible. And many measures are put in place by the school to enforce discipline. The discipline in the school is not for only the students, it includes all the staff members you must be able to display yourself. And the students have come to realization that this is what we go by and the work for it. When school will open, you must report on that day. If not, your parents must write to the school to explain and they have to bring it themselves. And I think is helping us when they will open and it is within the week the following day class starts it is a must that every student must go to class and must take part in all activities in the school when we talk about the ranking of the schools for the past three years what's it we have taken the first position for the Eastern region. Three consecutive years, we have been first in the region. And nationally, we took the second.
came back third, took second. We are only waiting to take first at the national level. And so, and we are working seriously at that. And praying that our students, as we prepare them, will add their quota and that of the parents also, so that the first position we will take. That is a hallmark for us. When it comes to infrastructure, we haven't received enough. But the school, in our own small way, we keep what we have and we are managing it. And praying, and we are proud that though we so little, we make the good or the best out of it. So I'll say, achievements, we are fulfilled and waiting for more. St. Rose's Senior High School, Asapati, is quite known for its discipline. From our past students to our current students, the discipline is quite maintained. And that's one thing we are quite proud of. And also, we are known as one of the neatest schools, in fact, girls, in all of the country. We are also known to be quite decent. You can tell from our uniforms, so even our haircuts. Also, our academic prowess is one to speak of. From our performance in the West African Student Certificate Examination, our participation in, in the NSMQ, in the WDSD based quizzes, we are quite one of the best. They have lost to their boys' affiliate school, St. Peter's Senior High School, their affiliate boys' school. But they are so jubilant, they are so elated. Let me find out from them, why are they so happy? I mean, you lost, but against your boys' school. Wasi is real. Wasi, we will go ahead of them. Yes, yes. We don't right talk now, much. Yes, yes. We yes. cannot be ahead of them in the National Science and Math quiz, but we're still ahead of them academically. But they are your boys' school. Shouldn't be disappointed, right? No. We are not disappointed. Yeah. Oh, no. We're happy for them, but we, we are happy for them too. We are happy, happy for, for them. them. Yes, we are happy for them. Cheers to them. Yes, we love them. Yes, we love them. Yes, we love them. Yes. Yes. But I mean, are you going to break your relationship with them? Oh no! Oh, no. You want you throw them in the wasi, right? Yeah, yes, first fight. Who's this? It's a shot for us. There is a woman. Yes. Behind is a gentleman. Come again. Say it again. Behind every successful man, there's a woman. I see. So for them, behind every successful pesco boy, there's a roses lady. So I mean, let's find out from the gentlemen that have won the contest today. They are so sweet. I feel like adopting them and and them being my baby. Me just be there for them. I'm wondering. <laughs> they remind me of Saint James Senior High. Sunyani. They have so many things in common. This is a Catholic school and you can see how serene their environment is and the discipline level as well. I love the fact that they are all around. Like these kids, I'll show you a video of these kids. <laughs> these kids were jamming into the worldly music. <laughs> A complete package you don't just do church or church it's it's gonna mess your adulthood up so i like the fact that they incorporate other fun at they incorporate other fun activities you know and all that but you, did you hear something in the video where the headmistress or you know, the history of the school was set by some white sisters who came and they wanted that to be for children of farmers. They want children of farmers to also acquire education, to become teachers, nurses, to become doctors, lawyers, engineers, name them politicians. And it kind of touched me. For me, sometimes when I see some people talking down on religion and also talking down on people of other race, it kind of like, I don't like it. Yeah. So they set this school up just for children of farmers. It does not mean that if your dad is a doctor or your dad is a lawyer, you're not allowed here. But the primary aim of setting up this school was for the ordinary people. And that is where you call my name. When you say that, it means you are saying, Lily, Lily, bra, bra, bra. 
that is it and it's so sweet and disciplined simple and i love it now let's talk about the alumni of saint roses i had little expectation about this school alumni given the fact that it's not one of the oldest school though it's 50 something years ago what right but i f i feel like i've seen more schools much much older than roses but like so i had like okay the girls here they are not that adults like that so maybe there's nothing much to expect from them but hey don't play don't play i was wrong i was wrong let's go let's go see what they did for their alma mater and still doing and I will be back. Let's go. This year's annual Thanksgiving service of St. Rose's Old Students Association, Rosa, took place in the school premises in Aquisia in the Eastern Region. The celebration brought home many past students to their alma mater for Thanksgiving service and provided an avenue for special past students' year groups to hand over projects and initiate new ones. The celebrating year groups, 1983 Chosen Ones, 1993 Red Commandos, 1993 Brown Pioneers, 2003 Golden Checks, 2013 Sparrows, and 2013 Dahlias were celebrating 40 years, 30 years, 20 years and 10 years respectively presented a check amount of 410,000 Ghana cities to commence a new project and cut the sword to begin construction of a new dining hall to accommodate the ever increasing population of the school. The 1998 year group celebrated 25 years of graduation, making the milestone with a bathhouse renovation project, which was handed over at the ceremony to the school. <laughs> And the test that when the recent is my years were down just to allow these students to pass and they pass. And tomorrow they will become doctors to get me. National President of ROSA, Nana Akusia Santua Uusu, in her engagement with the media, said this year's celebration was special because it brought about seven celebrating years together, the highest so far. She commended the year groups for the tremendous work done in uplifting the infrastructure of the school and their ever-ready dedication to assist. We're here today at the on the St. Rose's campus, we're currently at the assembly hall having a Thanksgiving service for ourselves. This is something we do yearly. This is something we do yearly and it gives an opportunity for the celebrating year groups. And when I say celebrating year groups, it's those who have finished, those who finished school over the past decade, two decades, three decades, four decades ago. So today's celebration is a really special one because we had 
seven celebrating year groups. go on and on on because there are many but sometimes i don't want to bore you guys okay too much the long the long video i believe like okay let's put it together and pass the information and put the school out there for the world to see and understand what i'm talking about but these girls have really been doing a lot so i'm so excited so we are going to go back to the school and do random tour did i tell you that stone boy yes yeah, stone boy why didn't i show that part stone boy is little sister in the school i'll tell you my opinion on that later let's go back to the school and i'll be back let's go then we had a thanksgiving for those who completed this year and then we are having this climax of the rosary mass <laughs> Ross's new student. Hey, Shaka Zulu. Over Lenny. Don't mind them. You will finish them. Now nah, I'm part of the Wewe we 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 gang. <laughs> <laughs> Kid do this 
Bonner boy, can he do this? We don't, we don't know the schools of their sisters, do you understand, or brothers. We don't know the schools of their kids. We only know that there are a lot of big schools in my country, rich, where you pay exorbitant, ridiculous amount of money. We know that some of these people, some of these kids in this school are related to these people, to our superstars, I mean. But we don't know which of the schools exactly their, their family members are. So did you see something? Did this signal anything to you? Like, what thing are they fear for? That is what it means. The other day when I did the Krobo Girls and... I was editing the video when my niece walked in and be like, oh, is that, is that not the end of Ghana? And I said, he is. And she was like, where are the soldiers? And I'm like, soldiers for what? To guide him. How can he just come to a school like that? And I'm like, why won't he come? He's human. And this is his responsibility. She was like, ah. And there are no soldiers. Do you know what that means? So Stoneboy, he drove himself and his little sister to this school. So being a star in Ghana is not stressful. Case closed. Don't tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. You can just go to anywhere. Yes, this is what I see. It simply means that eh, I don't owe anybody any money. Yeah. So who is going? Nobody is going to kidnap the child. Normally, why our own celeb can't do that is because if they put it out there, someone will go try to kidnap this innocent girl so that these superstars will pay man i like you guys a lot i like your lives okay even though sometimes some people tell me girl, go back to your country <laughs> i know one day my country will be good and i'll go back but as we are here let us live together in peace and um, love each other and just forget about hey you're not from here so you can't give your opinion it's not right okay i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you you guys in another school that school you want to see is coming okay just but you just relax it's a lot of work okay except you want to come over and help me sort out the videos the way i wish if you can sort them out give them to me filming is a lot easier then you help me edit <laughs> all right guys i appreciate you i'll see you in my next one ciao